and a very pleasant good afternoon <laughs> it is monday afternoon and today is the uh what do we got the 19th no 20th yeah the 20th day of april if you were with me this morning i told you that morning clouds will be giving way to afternoon sunshine and that's just what we're seeing right now blue skies and sunshine and for those of you wondering there you go at your current temperature 58 degrees a little bit of a west northwest wind rolling in at eight miles an hour probably a little cooler than we would hope but you can't ask for a prettier looking day with plenty of sunshine overhead and trees continue to bloom and as a result uh, we are seeing uh, not only tree pollens, but uh, grass pollen reaching a moderate range now. So if you have sensitivity to those for allergies, you're probably starting to feel the effects, maybe a little extra stuffiness uh, being observed as a result. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Whiteboard Weather on this Monday afternoon. Gorgeous Monday afternoon. I uh, should also mention... After we're done with whiteboard weather here, you're still going to have, oh, about five hours to enjoy the beautiful weather. Don't sit inside. Don't watch the TV. Don't look for all that bad news and fear casting. Get outside. Be socially distant. But enjoy some of the sunshine. And as I usually like to say, get the stink blown off you. Sunset tonight is not until four minutes after eight o'clock. I had to bring whiteboard weather outside today because I probably won't be able to do so tomorrow with some rain likely in the forecast, but with a, a dry day and sunshine, what better day to get outside, that's my thumb, and enjoy uh, a little bit uh, of the dry weather and sunshine while uh, we can, or I can, hopefully you can, as well. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time today. I'm not going to show you computers or anything like that. It's a real nice day. We'll just get straight forward today and I'll just give you the forecast in just a moment. But before we get to that, um, as always, I want to encourage you when you get a chance to visit, you know, the website by now, hopefully it is pittsburghweathernow.com. When you go to the website, right at the top of the web page, there's a link to vote for Best of the Berg 2020. Uh, the voting is open until May the 2nd, so we have less than two weeks uh, to get those votes in, and you can vote more than once. You can vote multiple times, uh, and if you're really motivated, you can vote multiple times a day. So we have less than two weeks to get those votes in, and hopefully we will win Best of the Berg 2020 and back-to-back -back titles for Best Meteorologist in the Berg. You guys are the best. Um, you guys are the best. Um, today, National Cheddar Fries Day today, uh, which is almost appropriate with the, uh, the O out in Oakland. Many of us have probably been there at some point in our, uh, in our days, but the O closing down for good. Um, I think there were multiple things involved, but certainly uh, the closing of uh, businesses didn't help uh, the matter, so that may be a a casualty, a small business casualty of COVID-19. Uh, it's National Pineapple Upside Down Cake Day today. It is National Lima Bean Disrespect or, or Respect Day today. I didn't know lima beans were disrespected, that they needed a respect day, but apparently they do. And it's National Look Alike Day today. If um, you have somebody that looks like you or vice versa, uh, today's a day to celebrate that look like itness, if that's a term. Uh, many people have told me over the years that I bear resemblance to one Steve Carell. So that would be, I guess, my lookalike, and I've had it confirmed on a number of occasions. So, uh, born on this day, Jessica Lange, the actress, um, Luther Vandross. Can you believe he's died 15 years ago? It's been that long, uh, but what a singer that guy was. Uh, Ryan O'Neill, the actor, Shamar Moore of Criminal Minds, uh, and uh, 
for all the wrong reasons, I'm going to mention his name, but uh, he was a well-known world leader for all the wrong reasons, uh, Adolf Hitler had his birthday on this day. So those are some of your birthdays for today. Let's get over to the whiteboard. We'll break it down for you. Look, it's right over there. It's sitting out in the sunshine, as we all should be, hopefully. Let's turn it around. Get to the whiteboard. That's the website. It's Pittsburgh. Weathernow.com. All three words together as one with a dot com on the end. Sunset tonight, as I said, is 8.04. Comes up tomorrow morning at 6.33. As I mentioned, the allergy index, trees and grasses are in a moderate range. Uh, and also, as I mentioned, we're going to get some rain tomorrow. I don't think it's a lot, enough that it's going to certainly dampen things up, but a quarter of an inch of rain or less is expected tomorrow. So uh, not a real moisture-rich system moving through tomorrow. And near to below average temperatures through the end of the month. Basically what that means is we're not, and I repeat not, going to see any big temperature surges. So if you're holding hope to have some 70 degree days, uh, it's likely not going to happen, at least not by uh, the end of this month. Hopefully early in May. Tonight, increasing clouds over the course of the evening. 43, and a shower arrives late tonight. And by late, I'm looking at probably after 4 o'clock in the morning, so more likely closer to daybreak tomorrow. Tomorrow itself, 48 degrees. Temperatures will be held down by the clouds and showers, I think most of which will be uh, in the morning and midday. They'll be ending in the afternoon. So the wettest time of the day tomorrow will be morning, and then things will get a little drier, or at least in terms of no rain falling in the afternoon. It will become breezy with a cold front passing through the area. Skies will then clear out tomorrow night. 30 degrees, the low temperature. On Wednesday, another very nice day. Mostly sunny skies, not quite as warm as it is today. Should reach the low 50s for highs on Wednesday. Then Thursday, 60 degrees, a little milder, but we will see scattered rain showers on Thursday, which will carry into Thursday night. They'll wrap up Friday morning. Breaks of afternoon sunshine on Friday, 61 and 59. Looking ahead to next week and on Saturday. And uh, could see a shower or two. I don't think it's a, an all-day rain at this point. But uh, look for a lot of clouds and a couple of hit-and-miss showers uh, likely on Saturday if you're planning that far in advance. Uh, I'm going one day at a time, baby. PittsburghWeatherNow.com, that is the website and that is your whiteboard for the next several days. A little wet tomorrow, and then sunny again on Wednesday. That would be the short-term outlook. So, that's good news moving forward for sure. Um, and that, in a nutshell, is your forecast. Simply accurate, no hype, never a fear cast. It's whiteboard weather, uh, and we don't do any of that fear casting here. Um, and this is the original social distancing weather forecast. We've been doing this this way from home for what? A year and a half now? So this is the original, baby. Thank you for uh, continuing to let whiteboard weather grow. And uh, we want it to grow even more. So please share uh, whiteboard weather with your Facebook friends. The more you share, the bigger we become. And we want to continue to get big. We want to be huge. Huge. <laughs> um, all right, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, get outside. Enjoy some of the fresh air, some of the sunshine. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. for Wake Up Whiteboard Weather. And um, have a great day, everyone. Peace. See you.